the entire group. It's very rare that we sometimes have a student that goes above and beyond for their classmates. Okay? They don't get paid for it, but they pay for the effortless hours to make sure that we all get better. And in the Mordecai tradition, we have what's called offerings. Okay? And what offerings are is we, we come and we present gifts to our teachers, to our instructors, to show respect and to show honor and to say thank you, thank you very much for giving to me. I want to give something back. Now, it can be as little as a, as a, a glass of or a, um, a, a bottle of water or, or a snack or a fruit. Something that the instructor needs, okay? That's the idea. You always want to find out what your instructor needs and what's important to them. For example, one of our students in here knows that I love fresh vegetables. He has a garden. He brings me in vegetables. That is key acts. I absolutely love it. What just so happens is that one of our coaches and my, one of my students has recently had uh, some of his equipment destroyed. And we, we noticed it. And we took, we took pride in that. And there's a group of people that, that went above and beyond for him. So we want to honor him tonight. And that's Coach Rafferty. Please put your hands together, Coach Rafferty. Coach Rafferty, we have some gifts for Coach Rafferty. Everybody that donated, please step forward. And there's three or four people here that, that couldn't make this night rap that had just the biggest part. So I'm going to start things off in the tri tie tradition. Everybody that's presenting, please, come on. Don't cry, big boy. Called, this ritual is called a Wai Ku, which Ku means teacher. The right now we're required to respect our, we're paying respect to our teacher, and all we're giving him offerings for his, for his uh, dedication to his student base, which includes myself.
recognize this, uh, you go, why didn't I think about this? Why didn't I think about this? I'm the one to help ensure the damn pass. She was instrumental in putting this together. She's the one that organized the whole thing. So uh, make sure you pay your pay yeah. respect. So after hey, sure, whatever you want to say. Hey, folks, real quick, you know, why I bring the jiu-jitsu guys in on that? Because you guys don't realize, but uh, like Scott Gray and I were talking several times today, actually, just about things. Uh, Raph came up a number of times in our conversation. What? His, his quiet, indomitable presence at Capitol is really, in many ways, the heart and soul of our entire experience. MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, and Muay Thai, he is there for everything. And it goes up to surface. Okay? So again, a round of applause for that gentleman.